Hola guys! Surprise! I'm back. Back to back. I washed it. It's nice and gainy smelling and keeping me warm. I am very restless. Um, I don't know how much memory I have on the phone. But um, my nerves are a little shot. Uh, we, here in the next few minutes, go into shelter in place here in Dallas County. Uh, we were advised yesterday that uh, it would be taking, a, taking going into effect. Uh, Monday at 11.59, so all non-essential businesses are to be shut down. And uh, as more and more time goes by, and the more and more it hits closer to home, I mean, I know it's hit all over the country, all over the world, all over the country, but um, it's like right on our doorstep here, and... I've joked around about it and um, tried not to be nervous about it, but I am nervous. Uh, it's here and it's affecting everything we do, uh, every last one of us. So, um, yeah, Corona's being a real bee and uh, my nerves can't handle it very well. I'm trying to stay positive and not show too much because I don't want little dude to feed off of that or be afraid because it's my job too take care of him but um I get very very anxious and I start puttering around and cleaning <laughs> a lot <laughs> when uh, I get this way and yesterday I couldn't sleep and I started going through my lippies um because I had shown you guys that I had purchased a few more from Dollar Tree so I started going through my lippies and came across a whole bunch of them like a bag full that I was like what in the heck was I thinking? Uh, these are definitely going in the garbage. It's just a lot of clearance items, um, Dollar Tree items that I liked or thought I would like. And then I tried on and they were either too sticky or had a funny taste or a funny flavor. Taste, flavor, same thing. For whatever reason, I didn't like and I just hadn't got rid of them. And, uh... I mean, there's so many in here. This whole bag is full of lippies and stains. It's mainly lip glosses because um, I'm pretty good with the lipsticks. It's just the lip gloss, like, really gets me. Like, I just think they're so pretty and shiny, and then I end up not liking them. Lip glosses, you got to be real careful with because sometimes they, like, really suck. But um, of all those that I'm tossing... Tomorrow's trash day. Oh, sorry about the glare, guys. These I want to try on. See, I'm putting my little thrifty bowl to use. These I want to try on uh, because I'm like on the fence about. I don't know if I like them or not. Um, so that is what I was going to do tonight. I'm going to try on licky sticks and see if I like them. And that is not a good color. Not for me. This is one of the elves from Dollar Tree. But that's what I was going to do tonight. I don't want to get rid of them um, and then come to find out or not know, you know, not know if I got rid of them for no reason. Um... But some of these colors are just terrible. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Ew. You will see that. They have a very weird finish to them. I, I, I like the way mattes and satins look on other people, but I'm too ashy-lipped and dry-mouthed, really, to do a satin. Or a mat. Oh, forget about stains. Like these little stains. I thought they were such a good deal. Um, so I would buy these stains and I hate them because then I can't get the crap off. But yeah, so a lot of these. That's what I was going to do tonight. I was just going to sit here. See? This matte weirdness. 
I don't like it. Um, so all I was gonna do is go through here and try them on. I probably should use a makeup wipe because a dry tissue on my perpetual dry lips is not gonna be a good thing. I'll probably wake up with them this big, but um, how are y'all handling everything? How are y'all handling everything that's going on? I know it's everywhere. Okay, I know it's absolutely everywhere and everybody's having to deal in their own way with, with what's going on. It has an ugly finish. Um, how are y'all doing? Are y'all able to get all the supplies you guys needed? Were y'all able to find the groceries y'all needed or water and that type of thing? I was still on the search for water. I don't have anything against tap water, okay? I'm from the hood, okay? I grew up drinking tap water, uh, drinking out the hose. Uh, I didn't start drinking bottled water until 10 years ago when I had a little dude. And because he was born so sick and had so many little uh, issues with his belly, I had to be careful how I mixed his formulas and stuff like that. I had to water down his juices and stuff like that. And because he was such a little preemie and so delicate, I just started buying bottled water and never stopped. I mean, I'm fine with tap water, although the tap water here in my neck of the woods tastes like dirt. You know, when you um, water the lawn and you get that wet soil smell, that's what our water tastes like in my little town. And that's gross. Um, I heard if you boil it, it'll take some of that funk away and then just refrigerate it. But I ain't got to do all that. You know, it's not that crucial. But you get used to what you get used to, you know. And you get, look at this. What? What is this? What? You get used to what you get used to. And I've gotten used to bottled water. And like I said, we could get out the tap but since if I found some I'd buy some and I went to Dollar Tree because I know sometimes they have the big geyser gallon or the little six pack bottles you see me guys haul and uh, they had a few and then right next door was Aldi so I went to Aldi and they had cases of water so I got two uh, 24 packs which is all they allowed at our Aldi do you, do your, does your Aldi have a limit or all they had a limit on that, but I, I'm stocked up on everything else. I mean, groceries and snacks. And yesterday I headed out and got cat food and everything else I needed for the impending apocalypse. But, um, just matte and satin. Look at that. And usually I love a, a neutral, but I think I need to stick with a gloss, a glossy finish, not a lip gloss, a glossy finish. Anywho, um, and some of these are like barely even there. Like, what was I thinking? Like, it's not even a lipstick. Sorry if y'all see flashing. It's not a polter boost. It's my little lamp, which I haven't used in a while. So let me tweak with a light bulb because it is flickering. Mm. Okay. I hope that helps. I hardly use this lamp. It's more here for decorative purposes, but I thought the lighting would be good for what I'm trying to do here. But anywho, I went ahead and got some wipes because that dry tissue was hurting my labios, my yap, my boca, okay? Uh, and these are running out around here. Uh, we got plenty of toilet paper. We ain't got that many wipes, so I really shouldn't be doing this. But anywho, uh, what were we talking about? Uh, is that the same one? No, this one's darker. Um... Are y'all able to, have y'all been able to get everything y'all needed? Are y'all good? Are y'all worried? Y'all scared? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Uh, I have begun to pray. I tend to forget to pray when I panic, which is ignorant because my faith is so strong in it, yet I forget to pray. Um, but we've, re we've resorted and reverted, not resorted, reverted started doing that um and I feel better it's just really stressful like today I went to oh I went to pay little dude's tuition I like this I may keep this little dude's tuition 
at daycare because even if he's not going in order to keep his spot this is the drew barrymore flower brand in case anybody likes it um uh, i got it at walmart um when she pays tuition to keep his spot even though he's not going and i knew that the rules had changed at daycare they haven't shut the daycares down here but i knew the rules had changed some so when i got there to pay um they checked my temperature at the door just like we're doing at the clinic um, and I told her I was there to pay tuition and she kind of said, well, a lot of our parents are temporarily taking the kids out and not bringing them back until we get word that they're either going to go back to school or wait until the school year, the new school year begins. Uh, she goes, I can't a hundred percent guarantee you that there'll be a spot for him, but I can give you like about a 90%, you know, um, uh, I can give you about a 90% uh, guarantee that there'll be a spot. She said, all I'll ask is that you pay attention to the news and pay attention to when and if the kids are going to go back to school. And as soon as you start hearing that, then go ahead and give me a call and we'll just re-enroll him. We'll have to re-enroll him. But she said a lot of parents have done that. She said like at least 60% of the kids are no longer even there because they chose to only take care of children of essential employees, meaning the only kids that are going to daycare right now are kids of people, parents who have to go to work, medical, uh, police officers, firemen, you know, that those essential jobs that we keep hearing about. This is really pretty. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, so, oh, oh, no way. Uh-uh. That is not good on my skin tone. Um, so yeah, I mean daycare is pretty much empty. Uh the older children are pretty much gone. Uh the infants, of course, are still there. Uh so I think little dude would be very uncomfortable and very lonely. And he doesn't like daycare on a full day basis anyway. It's too loud, it's too much uh sensory overload for him. So he's been staying with grandma. Um and no color at all at all no color what what was i thinking what was i thinking um and he likes being at grandma's so we're just gonna play by ear and and i wasn't gonna send him to daycare anyway i'm not risking him being exposed to anything because where i work who knows what the heck i've been exposed to and there's a story to that that i want to tell you guys that i think potentially put all of us at risk and now mind you i work in a clinic so we're all at risk. We're all at a potential risk of being, um, ugh. you can't really see on here, but they are not cute. These colors are not cute. Anywho, working where I work, I have the potential of becoming exposed anyway, but there was an incident at work that I found out about, and I'm the worst person to find out about these types of things because I am a doomsday, end of the world type of person. But I found out that the entire clinic is pretty much exposed by someone who lied. A patient who boldface lied. Uh, and put us all at risk. So the person was not um, diagnosed with COVID. But do because of how the type of job this person has had a lot of exposure to possible had possibility of exposure to it because of the type of work that he does. And he chose not to tell staff that until he was already in and had been in there. So he wasn't even supposed to be out in public. OK, and this is what's happening. These people aren't taking it seriously. These people don't care. These people are prioritizing their own life over anybody else's. So this person was told, stay home just in case because of the type of work that you do. You've been exposed to a lot of different people. You don't have any symptoms, but just stay home. And he chose not to. So he potentially could have exposed us all. Um, but that's true of any patient that walks in there. It's true of any person you come across at Walmart or, you know, anywhere you're out and about. But it just ticks me off because 
this person was told stay home and didn't and stuff like that that is gonna keep this stuff from stopping this is kind of pretty but it's very sticky well I don't know <laughs> I know I'm not putting it on the right way I don't know I might I might keep that one we'll give that one another swing we'll give that one another another chance but anywho that's what's going on here guys uh like i said i went to dollar tree today and um i bought a few waters i didn't clean off the shelf i'm not that person that's ridiculous they had a few waters i bought two and then i went to aldi and i bought my limit there and uh I did pick up a few other little things. Oh, look at this mess. I did, ew. I did pick up, I'm saying ew and I'm putting it all, I'm putting it all on. Not the right shade for this kind of crap. <sighs> um, I picked up a few other little things. Retail therapy is real. Um, and I love, let me tell you guys about Aldi. I don't know about y'all's Aldi. Not Aldi, I'm sorry, Winko. I went to Winko yesterday because the cats were dying and I hadn't been able to get their cat food because I had a flat. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. It's orangey. Looks terrible here, but it's kind of... I could see if I had my face done. Where this might work in summer. I might give that one another try. See why you should go through your stuff? Because it might be a nice second or third go around. Anywho, uh, our Winko. Is that what I was talking about? Winko? I had to go get cat food. And I hadn't been able to find it at Target. I hadn't been able to find it at Walmart. And we just geared up masks and everything. And we got to Winko, and Winko was in control, guys. I don't know if you guys have Winkos where y'all are at, but um, Winko had one line going in. You had to sanitize your hands before you walked in. You had to grab a wipey and sanitize the baskets. And then it was nice and calm. Of course, there wasn't a lot of stock, so maybe that had something to do with the fact that there wasn't a lot of people that already kind of cleaned it out. There was enough for you to buy a basket full of necessities. Let's put it that way. No toilet paper. Um, but there was enough of everything else for you to buy basketfuls of necessities, but it was controlled and the people who were running the show, it was just really, really smooth. And they had a security guard at the exit to make sure, I guess, people didn't run out with stuff because people are going cray cray nowadays. Oh my goodness. Um, um, but kudos to Winkle. I mean, they, they really did. They really, really did a good job. So we got the cat food and left. And I think we were the only people there. No color at all. Another one. No color. I think we were the only people there that were buying pet supplies. Everybody else had groceries. And uh, we only had big bags of cat food and big case of wet food and kitty litter and stuff like that. Um, but <laughs> I'd already been everywhere and back for groceries before. But yeah, it's getting to the point where I don't want to keep masking up the kid I don't want to keep masking up the kid and he's picking up the cues uh, of that you know something serious is going on um, he thought the masks were funny at first but I had to stress to him how important they were to have on and I think he's slowly beginning to clue in that this is some this is some real deal stuff you know I'm almost done um uh, Oh no, that is absolutely, that is rough. That's, that just pulls at my skin. Eben, New York, 24 hour glossy stick my butt. I got this at the beauty supply store. Glossy my hiney, that stuff pulled at my lips. Um, mm -mm. um so yeah, I don't wanna have him out there any longer than I have to and I don't have the option 
of leaving him anywhere because the Walmart for this. Oh, this one's pretty. The Walmart furthest from. No shape. Do you see what I did? The Walmart furthest from my. Closest to my mom is too far for me to go and back and forth. And so I just. I keep it. I just gear my baby up, you know? I have a bag in the car with hand sanitizer, wipes, gloves, and two kinds of masks. That's my disaster. Um, <laughs> that's my disaster bag. And I keep that now. I keep that bag next to my thrifty bag, which I had to tweak up a little bit with everything that's going on. I have a thrifty bag that I carry with me into the thrift stores. Uh, and I had to tweak that up a little bit. I don't know about this one. Very little color, but it has a nice little gloss to it. I might keep this one too. Okay. Um, yeah, so, um, okay, so these are going in the trash pile. There's a whole bunch of them, guys. Um, I don't want to expose him any more than I absolutely have to because I, these are going in the trash. I have to be careful with him because he's around my mom. So I got I got a twofer I need to worry about. I'm mean, gonna need to worry about myself too and my sister and anybody else that comes in contact with us, but she's getting real and scary. Come on, lamp. Come on, lamp. I'm keeping these. Um let me change positions because this lamp is getting on my nerves and now I'm done here, so um, y'all want to keep talking? Y'all want to see what's in my thrifty bag? Because I brought that in because I needed to clean it out and swap out some things. I can show you guys my thrifty bag right quick. It's up here. I think it's up here. Yeah, it's right there. It's near my purse. Um, I can show you guys what I keep in my thrifty bag. Long, long, long time ago when I first started YouTube, I, I showed, um, my thrifty bag. And it's the bag I carry into thrift stores with me. Okay. I changed positions. One, because the lamp was flashing. And I didn't want nobody to end up having a fit or getting a headache. And, um, because I was done over there. I swear it's a style, guys. Anyhow, my memory is acting funny. And I'm getting sleepy. I didn't really sleep last night, so I think maybe I'll sleep tonight. But little dude is taking a break. We were back to building and having... Um, creative time and I think he got tired of mommy so he's doing his own thing for a little bit before I put him to bed anywho this is my thrifty bag this is the same bag I have had since 2012 is there anything in this pocket yeah okay oh my gosh the light is terrible anywho it's the same bag I have had since 2012 well longer than 2012 but I started YouTube in 2012, but it's the same exact bag, and uh, it's either in my trunk or in my back seat or on the floorboard of my car. It's somewhere. Now I have uh, cleaned it up some, um, so let me just show you guys what I have. Now I have this type of stuff in here because I buy everything at a thrift store. I, I'll buy furniture, I'll buy clothing, I'll buy whatever, and sometimes you need these things. So. My thrifty bag had hand sanitizer in it, but I took the hand sanitizer out because it's now in my my prepare bag, in my dun 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 bag. But I have wipies in here. Uh, the wipies I had in there were kind of drying out, so I just got rid of those and grabbed these at Dollar Tree one of the times I was there. So I have wipies because if you guys thrift like I do, uh, Y'all sometimes get that black ring on your finger from holding the hangers or sometimes you get suspect scents on your hands, not to mention grime and gookie. So I carry hand sanitizer. I need to get one of the small ones that I have scattered everywhere and drop in here. Uh, that's what I need to do. And wipes. I have socks. And I put in a new pair of socks because the pair of socks that were in there were ragged, okay? And the reason I have socks is because every now and then when I come across a pair of shoes that I want, um, I'm not going to try them on barefooted, even if they look clean on the inside. If I haven't had chance to sanitize them, I used to even take like a wipe on the inside, but that's gross. 
Um, oh, gloves. I need to add gloves. I also have gloves for that because I used to take a wipey into the inside of the shoe if I wanted to try it on just because you don't know. Um, and then I stopped doing that and opted for the sock. Uh, it can kind of alter the, the fit of the shoe. So I try and get the thinnest socks that I can get. Um, but I needed a new pair of socks in this bag because like I said, the other one was raggedy. Uh, so I keep socks in there for shoe purposes. I do need to add some gloves in here and I have the little box over there in my prep bag. Uh, I need to throw in a few little uh, gloves in here. So it's a work in progress. I brought it in yesterday and I've been tweaking the inside of it. A calculator because your girl is bad with math, okay? And sometimes I have my phone out and I'm trying to film and I don't want to switch over to calculator. So when I want to know what 30% off of a price is, 75% off, whatever, girl keeps calculator pen and pencil just because i might want to write down i want something in this color or i'm looking for something in this size or i'm looking for a table for the hallway just little notepad and they give this these at work all the time comes with a little pad pencil do your thing however you want to do it just something to write on measuring tape because when your girl wants furniture your girl wants furniture and i'll have my measurements written down on my little pad and this always helps batteries i've just replaced these because the ones in there probably weren't going to work i have double a's triple a's i used to have d's uh but i haven't come across anything that takes the big batteries at a thrift store that i wanted uh, anymore but uh, triple A's and double A's for sure I could probably put in more double A's because maybe I come across something that takes four double A's uh, so I might do that like I said I'm still tweaking it I'm still going through but I always carry different size batteries the fact that these haven't broken into a million smithereens is a miracle to me I have never really figured out how to carry these around safely but I carry different size bulbs y'all know I'm a lamp freak okay and I'm not going to bring home a lamp and then have to take it back if it doesn't work. So I carry light bulbs with me for night lights for all size lamps. And I've been lucky that they haven't broken and busted up in here. Uh, but I keep that in there. Just another little pad. This was my original from many a moon ago. I just kept it in there. Um, pin, another one because I hadn't swapped out. I used to have two screwdrivers, the flathead and the little star looking one. And then I came across this at 99 cent only. And I purchased this and this is in my bag because when you wanna take the battery panel off of something, just to see if it, the inside's corroded or whatever, because sometimes you'll buy something that requires batteries and you get it home and the inside's all corroded and nasty, it's not gonna work. So now you gotta go back and take it back. Um, so I like to open compartments just to see. Uh, sometimes if I buy a piece of furniture and it's too big to fit in the car, I'll have to unscrew the legs or kind of take it apart a little bit. So this is always good to have. And that's it. I mean, that's aside from I need to drop in a hand sanitizer and I need to drop in a few little gloves. That's it, guys. I don't think I have forgotten anything. I don't think there was anything in here that I need to replace. But that's my thrifty bag. This is the stuff that I carry with me. When I go in, when I get out of the car, I'll put my wallet, um, I'll drop my wallet in here or I'll slide my card in this little pocket and then I have um, another little compartment in here that I'll just drop the card in so I'm not fishing around for it and my phone and there I go and it's kind of cute so, you know, it works. But that is my thrifty bag. I've been doing this forever. I've been thrifting for 30 years, guys. So, that's that. This was an interesting video. I just felt like talking. I felt like talking and I need to lie down and try and sleep. But sometimes that's futile. I've had insomnia for many, many years. I usually honestly don't go to sleep. I go to bed, but I don't go to sleep till around three in the morning. So I'm going to lie myself down and put little dude down and hopefully have a better night than I did last night. So until my next go around, thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me and I love your bunches and please 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 stay safe listen to what you're being told to do and do it and keep your loved ones safe love you bunches bye